Hi everyone, welcome to another Fusion 360 Challenge of the Month. And today we are going to create our very first assembly. Now if you want to join our challenge, check out the details in Autodesk Knowledge Network. It's assembly time, so let's get started. This assembly has four parts. Let's head up, going to File and Create New Design. Let's create our first part by heading up and going to our main file. I'm going to right click and select new component. Let's rename this one. Double left click as base rectangle. Hitting enter. Next, I'll expand this triangle and turn on the visibility of our origin planes. And I'm going to hit R to grab our rectangle tool. Now we are prompted to select a plane or planar face. We're going to select our XY plane. Left click to select. Now under sketch palette and feature options, let's select our center rectangle. Now for our center point, we're going to place it at our origin. So left click here. Now we are prompted to enter our height, the height to be 40. I'm going to hit tab and the width to be 120. Hitting enter. Now I can immediately hit E for extrude, but I prefer to create our two holes here. So I'm going to hit C for circle. I'm going to drop our center point here and key in. Then for the diameter, hitting enter. Next, I'm going to hit L to grab our line. Now for the length of this line, I want it to be 80, hitting enter, selecting this line, and hitting X to make this as a construction line, and hitting C to grab our circle once more. Left click here at the end point, and left click. So notice I did not input any value. I'm going to hit escape and left click to select our circle, and left click this one, right click and select equal. So now these two circles has the same diameter. Next, instead of going to our sketch palette and selecting midpoint, I can select this horizontal line and our origin. I'm going to right click and select midpoint. I'm going to grab our dimension up. Now to make sure, I'd like this one to be perfectly horizontal so I'm going to select our line right click and select horizontal vertical now the purpose of this strategy which I have created a horizontal line is that whenever we change our height or width the position of our circles will always remain at the center or middle and from here I can now hit E to grab our extrude tool. We are now prompted to select a profile. Selecting this profile, left click. And for direction, I'm going to select symmetric and change our measurement to whole length. The distance to be 15. And finally, hitting OK. Moving to our origin planes and turning off the visibility and to demonstrate our design intent for these two holes if I go back to our sketch right click and select edit sketch if I make this one as 60 and this one as 140 so notice the position of our two circles remains the same so I'm gonna hit undo to revert back, going to stop sketch, and congratulations for completing your first part of our assembly.